Hi boys and girls, this is Dr. Mutchler with your SCL lesson. We just have a few weeks of school left, which I can't believe. What I thought I would do is share books with you over the next few weeks that focus on a skill we've learned this year in SEL class. As I read the story, see if you can identify the skill that the story is trying to tell you about. Take a listen. Sergio Sees the Good, a story of one not-so-bad day. Written by Linda Ryden, illustrated by Sherry Malone. Sergio came home from school and slammed the door. What's wrong? said his mother. How was your day? Terrible. It was a terrible day, said Sergio. I dropped my lunch tray and my food went everywhere. He threw his backpack onto the floor. It was a completely awful day. Are you sure the whole day was terrible? His mom asked. Why don't we make sure? Huh? said Sergio. How? Go get the scale from the high shelf. You know, the old one that belonged to your grandfather. What for? asked Sergio. You'll see. And bring me that jar full of marbles from your room, said Mom mysteriously. Okay, said Sergio, feeling really confused. So, said Mom, let's rewind your day. We'll go back to the beginning and try to remember everything that happened. What are the scale and marbles for? asked Sergio. The right side of the scale is going to be the good side, and the left side is going to be the bad side. For every bad thing you remember from today, we'll put a marble on the bad side, and for every good thing you remember, we'll put a marble on the good side. When we're done, we'll see which one is heavier. That's how we'll decide if it was a good or a bad day. Okay, said Sergio, but I already know the bad side is going to be way heavier. Let's just wait and see, okay? Mom said. Well, I told you about one really bad thing that happened when I dropped my lunch. It ruined the whole day. Yes, I think you could put in three marbles for that, said Mom. Sergio put three marbles into the bad side. The scale tipped all the way to the left. Yep, that's what my day was like. Totally bad. Now, said Mom, let's get started with the rewind. What's the first thing that happened today? Well, I woke up, said Sergio. In your nice warm bed? Uh, yeah. So put one marble in the good side. Not everyone is lucky enough to have a warm bed to wake up in. Okay, said Sergio. Then what, asked Mom. Uh, I had breakfast, waffles, my second favorite breakfast food. Well, that's good. Marble, please, said Mom, gesturing toward the scale. Sergio put another marble in the good side. Then I played basketball with Henry before school and made a three-pointer. Mm-hmm, said Mom, smiling. I know. Marble, please, said Sergio, smiling just a little. But then some older kids came over and took the basketball, he said. That was definitely not good. Okay, then put another marble in the bad side, said Mom. Then what happened? We were supposed to have a math test, but it was postponed. That's definitely good. Sergio dropped another marble in the good side. And next? That's when the whole day was ruined, said Sergio. I was walking over to the lunch table, and I dropped my tray. It was a huge mess. Peas went rolling everywhere, and kids laughed at me. 
Oh, dear. It was so embarrassing. You could put an extra marble in the bad side for getting laughed at, said Mom. So then what happened, asked Mom. Did you clean it up by yourself? Well, no. Henry and Yoab and Tayaja helped me clean it up. And then Mr. Howell, the custodian, came over with the big broom. He wasn't mad at all. He's really nice. So where does the next marble go? Good side, I guess, said Sergio. People were pretty nice to me. But you didn't have any lunch, said Mom. That's bad. She reached over to put a marble in the bad side, but Sergio stopped her. Actually, Henry gave me his apple, and Yoab gave me half his sandwich, and Tayaja gave me her cookie. Sounds like a pretty good lunch and pretty good friends, said Mom. I know, I know, said Sergio. Another marble on the good side. Then what? In the afternoon, we had music class, and Mr. Holmes let us make up songs. Yoab and I wrote a song about the peas that fell on the floor. It's called Peas on Earth. Want to hear it? Maybe later, said Mom. Marble, please. Oh, and I walked home with Tayaja, and she told me a funny joke. Sergio put another marble in the good side, then said, Hey, all this remembering is making me hungry. What's for dinner? Your dad make macaroni and cheese, said Mom. My favorite. I guess I'd better put in another marble. Well, look at that, said Mom. The good side of the scale is pretty heavy. Do you still think this was a totally bad day? Gee, I guess not. It was actually pretty good. How come I was so focused on that one bad thing? That's just the way our brains work, said Mom. They're wired to keep us safe, and they make sure we remember dangerous things. Scientists call this the negativity bias. Our brains focus on and remember negative things and let good things slide right out. Why? asked Sergio. Well, this bias probably helped our early ancestors who were mostly focused on trying not to be eaten by big animals. It's not as helpful today. But doesn't it still help? I mean, remember when I touched that cactus and it really hurt? I'll never do that again. Thank you, negativity bias. Yep. That's what the negative negativity bias is for. But sometimes it can make us think that life isn't as great as it really is. We forget about all the little thing, good things that happen and just focus on bad stuff. Yeah, that's definitely what happened to me. The neat thing is that noticing and being thankful for the little good things is a great way to overcome the negativity bias and see our lives more clearly. We don't have to pretend that bad things don't happen, but remembering positive things helps to keep the scales a little more balanced. Cool, said Sergio. I'm going to go warm up that mac and cheese, said Mom, and she headed into the kitchen. Sergio looked at Phoebe and said, I think I better put in one more marble. He dropped a marble in the good side and whispered, Thanks, Mom. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story, and I, I really hope that you found this whole thing called the negativity bias interesting. It helps me remember to try to balance my day when some bad things happen. So just remember the negativity bias is when we focus on and remember painful, embarrassing, or threatening experiences more than the positive ones. When Sergio was pricked by that cactus, 
his brain filled the memory in a don't forget this drawer to prevent him from touching a cactus again. The negativity bias? It's helpful that way. It protects us from danger. But have you ever focused so much on a negative experience? Perhaps being embarrassed when spilling your lunch tray as Sergio did, that you've been unable to enjoy the good things going on around you for the rest of the day? If you have, you know, who hasn't really? You know all about the negativity bias. You know, unless we're in immediate danger, it's healthier to focus on the positive things going on in our day. It's hard, but it's healthier to do that. We remember the good things like a great trip or a special event, but we tend to forget about the good little things that happen every day. Taking time to notice and appreciate good things allows our brains to capture those memories and file them in a long-term storage drawer right next to the bad memories. And the result is we get to see our lives more positively. How are some ways you can practice? Every day, think of those little things that made your day great. And if you want, do something like Sergio and his mom did. If you have a scale like that, probably many of you don't, but maybe you could just make two piles of marbles and not need the scale. On one side, good things that happened in your day, and on the other side, things that weren't so great. And see which pile of marbles or other, other little objects you use. It could be anything laying around the house, really. See how it is at the end of the day so you can have a better idea of all the things that happened in your day. I will uh, share another book with you next week about some topic we've learned throughout the school year. But until then, if there's any questions you need, me to answer or, or you want me to give you a call, please email me at lmutchler at byron226.org. That's all for today. See you next week. Bye.